Hey everyone, got something special for you today, and that is my Smith & Wesson 686, and that's a 357 Magnum Revolver. And uh, this version, it is the 6 inch barrel, and it is the original 6 shot cylinder. Alright, take a look at this gun, it's got the... You can see that Smith and Wesson 357 Magnum. That also means that this can shoot 38 Special. Other side, you got the Smith and Wesson. And then down by the cylinder release, you got the classic Smith and Wesson logo down there. All right. Then you just down here by the trigger. You got Made in USA, Smith & Wesson Springfield. Then uh, on this gun, like many Smith & Wesson revolvers, you got the adjustable rear sight, and then the non-adjustable front sight with, this has got the orange fin on it right here. Then the adjustable sight, you got a screw up here. And screw on the side to adjust your windage and your elevation. You got your six shots. Alright, and then this is both a double action and a single action revolver. Now on this gun, when I bought it, uh, I was very excited to find this exact version because I wanted the original 6 shot and I wanted the 6 inch barrel in the 686 version. And I, you know, I had some trouble finding it but lo and behold I did find it at a local gun store. And you know I was so excited you know. I looked over the basics you know, checked the timing of the gun, you know, see if Checks for signs of a bent extractor rod, you know, just looked it over pretty quick and, you know, I liked what I see, so I bought it. But, when I took it home and I wanted to pull it all apart, clean it, you know, take this side plate off, clean the trigger, clean all the springs and everything. Turned out the previous owner put glue all along the inside of this grip to hold it together and along the bottom. So what I had to do was get a screwdriver and kind of shred the inside of the script to pull all the glue apart. And when I finally did, I actually had to peel it off and it, a lot of the inside of the grip ripped off and stuck to the gun. So you can see the grip's all kind of shredded and glued. And then on the gun, this is a square grip by the way, if anyone's curious. Back here was just all glued on rubber, down here, kind of up, up in here. This was all just covered in glue and rubber. And what I ended up doing is I took a little screwdriver and just kind of went up and down on all these grooves here until I got all the plastic off, or all the rubber and glue off. And it actually turned out really nice. I mean, it looks... looks brand new. I mean, doesn't look like anything was done to it. But obviously, do need to buy new grips for this. I mean, I have shot it with these grips on. And I mean, you know, they're really good grips. I like them, but I have small hands, so I'm looking to invest in some grips that have an open back. So you you're holding this instead of the back end of a grip to make it smaller. Alright, so other than, you know, the problem I have with the grips, I mean, that's, 
It's a very, very heavy, solid gun. And I can see it lasting, you know, thousands and thousands of rounds without ever having a problem. I mean, I think it's the best looking revolver you can buy. I mean, and being in a 357 Magnum, you got a lot of firepower behind that. Alright, the two rounds. We got 357 Magnum. Very heavy round. I mean, I think it would pretty much stop anything. Or anyone, for that matter of fact. But it also shoots the lighter 38 Special, which it's a little bit cheaper than a 357 Magnum, so you're saving money per round if you go with the 38. And it's a lot more comfortable to shoot. 357 Magnum, it's a fun round, but it's heavy. So, I mean, shoot a couple of these, I mean, you're good for the day. You can shoot these all day. And it feels really comfortable. And I'll have a video review of me shooting both of these rounds comparison. You can check it up up here. And uh, I'll have that up. And another thing with this gun, I did buy some speed loaders and some snap caps for it. And these are six shot. And they are the 586 speed loaders because they don't specifically make 686 speed loaders unless you want them in the seven round but this is a six round gun and these cost about meh ten bucks a piece maybe maybe a little more than that and, uh, I'm left handed but I'm gonna show you anyways you just kinda drop it in and they drop right in very easy to use I love these speed loaders uh, one thing I did find awkward with this gun, I have to put these grips on, show you. Is that, say you shoot, you know, shoot all six rounds, single or double action. Trigger pull, by the way, very, very smooth, but it is heavy. It's about uh, 11, maybe 11 pounds, maybe, for double action, single action. Almost, you just touch it, and it goes off. Just, but, say you fight your rounds, release the cylinder, then hit the extractor rod. If you notice, the grip actually catches some of those bullets as they fall right here. You, know, if you hit this back bullet, it does catch on the grip, so you gotta, you gotta kick it out. But, that's more of the grip, not the gun. And I do plan on getting new grips for this. Because, yeah. And uh, that's my review of my Smith & Wesson 686 revolver. And hope you enjoyed.